Hi guys, welcome back to another HIO free to play walkthrough. Today we have Intrepid Leopard, which is supposed to be a like a narrative puzzle game. It actually looks super interesting. Um, go and give it the best try I can. It took me a while to find a game, so I've been drinking like a ton of alcohol while uh, I've been in between. So we'll just see what we can do here. All right, how to start? New game. Please, is it broken? Did I break it? All right, let's try it again, I guess. Reopen it. Closing it. So I guess if it's darkened, that means it's selected. Oh, they should put some tips in this game on how to get it to work from the get-go. Jesus Christ. You can't, you don't click. Okay, yeah, you just use space key. If it's darkened, that means it's the one, not the lit up one. Leopard. Ah, videotape. Hey there, Leopard. All right. I see you got my tape and thought about using it on the old video recorder I lent you. Excellent job. So, you've probably been wondering where I've been all these we those weeks. I'm not even sure the family told you that I ran away or if they've kept silent about it. That's right, I'm finally out of here. I don't miss our dad or Mantisa's nagging one bit. Or the pressure of meeting their standards of greatness. Leopard, I feel like I can finally become whoever I want. And I want, want it to be with you. My sweet, sweet little brother. Okay. You always saw me for who I was. You're different. And you may even have suffered more than I did. No one deserves to be trapped in this home, especially not you. From their point of view, you lack talent. I will not let you rot there for a second longer. I'm going to get you out. You're my real family. You deserve to do whatever makes you happy, even if you haven't found it yet. That's why I have devised a plan. If you feel ready to hear it, and you, and if you'll let me help you, find the second tape I hid in your blanket for. If not, you're free to stay where, right where you're standing. It's the first choice I'm letting you make. Godspeed, Leopard. Well, let's go this way. Ah. Uh. Unfortunately, I think we have to do this. I think it's a trap, though. Yes, I knew you would choose to get out. Good for you. That may have been the toughest part, I hope. Alright, so the house is gigantic, and getting to the front door is quite the hike. Let's start small. How about you just get out of your bedroom? In case you have troubles doing it, I'll put another tape for you around here just after this one. See ya! I think the hardest part of this game is starting the game, because there's nothing that tells you what key to use. Dang, if you're watching this tape, it means it's not going to be easy as I hoped. What? Of course years of living in fear, fear has built a prison in your mind. Even though the doors are open, you're too afraid to even go out. Well, I don't have much choice. Here's what I suggest. You know how you've always followed scrupulously every tiny idiotic rule our family upheld in every room of the house? How about breaking one? Oh! I know, I know. Your head is spinning just thinking about it. But you've always stuck by the laws. What good did that do? Maybe you could use some grit. Break a law. Go through a door. Although, don't get too zealous. I suspect that breaking, by breaking too many laws, you may feel way more stressed than ever so. Just the one law will be enough. Give it a try. This is a trap. I feel like this is a trap. Don't go left. Don't ground jump with space. Don't reset with R. So I don't actually know if you managed to get out on your first try or if you, you've had to break the law. Since I've recorded these tapes in the past, but whichever is fine. Way to go, Leopard! The laws are decided by the family. Each member enacts their own laws on their own territory. They just apply to you and I, though. I've never seen Dad Globerman called Dad Cicadas for violating one for instance. Why do we have two dads? And you know these laws are really insidious. 
There are just so many of them, and they range from general behavior to trivial activities that one just stops living. Just to avoid breaking one inadvertently? Man, they really did a number on us, didn't they? Anyway, cross that room and get out of your apartments. No point in dwelling in here any longer. Alright. Yeah, I broke one. Easy. Easy. Don't ground jump more than twice. Don't go left. Don't air jump less than once. Oh, that's too easy. I got that. What do you got for me? You've yourself set laws around your bedroom to feel like you're part of the family, mimicking them. Although you, yours are all about jumping, right? You've got a whole classification, if I recall correctly. Jumping from the ground is a ground jump. Jumping from the air, an air jump. Wow, you've outdone yourself on the naming convention. And a simple jump means what exactly? I don't know. That you only ground jump without air jumping right after. Okay. Did you answer out loud? If so, I can't hear you on the tape. You understand your own jumps better than I do anyway, so good luck. Ground jump went from ground, air jump from an air, simple jump with no air jump after the ground jump. What's so complicated about jumps? I don't know, man. I didn't break any rules. Oh, I gotta break one, right? Got you. Don't simple jump. Don't go right less than once. The path between your room and the front door is in a straight line. You'll have to take your journey as an opportunity to strengthen your confidence. In this house, each member of the family rules over a room. As a photographer, I like to see each room as divided in frames, and each frame usually has three laws. Are you still following me? Well, by the time we reach the front door, you'll have to be confident enough to go outside. For that, the best way to break a law in each frame. But as you may have noticed before, break more than one and the shock will prevent you from going any further. Or it could make the family so mad they'll just physically get in your way. So one law, no more, no less. If you feel you've screwed up, you can take a deep breath and clean your mess. That way, you can start the frame over. R button. If only there were a button to just to do that just instantly. The R button. Don't let her jump more than twice. Okay. I got this. So I suppose you guessed it. As you get through the rooms, you will mistaken, unmistakably end up confronting the family. They will definitely not go easy on you, you know that. Just like they probably won't as I'm currently making my way out of here. I'm feeling nervous, although if you're actually here watching the tape then... I successfully out reached out to you, right? So it looks like I've already won. Wow, I'm feeling much better now. Let's get you hyped up too. With enough talking, let's get to the next room. You spent too long in your apartment, and it's time to step up your game. We're killing it, boys. What's up? Is that me? That's me. This game's sick, though. I like this. This is a big brain. Don't climb up any ladder with F. Don't jump. Don't climb down. Well, this is too easy. I'm just going to climb that ladder with F. What a serene environment that is Dad's music room. At all times, day and night, you can hear notes suffusing the tranquil air. Haha, <laughs> see how I can make it can make someone lyrical? I keep falling for it. I can't help it, it's just really like this place. I have so many shots of Dad passionately dancing with his instruments. Let's go for some sightseeing, shall we? Hey. Don't climb down any ladder, don't climb up any ladder, don't jump. Well, that's easy. Cicadas. The latest classical, pieces, classical piece shakes critics to their core. After renewing jazz and funk, the virtuoso sets his sights on pump music, pop music. Is there a single genre Dad hasn't conquered in all his composing years? 
The headlines are barely exaggerating. He's a monster at what he does. He lives for his art and his family. That would be wholesome if it wasn't such a jerk about all of it. Ha! <laughs> don't jump less than once. Don't use any ladder. Don't go left. What? Okay. Notice how a lot of laws around here revolve around ladders? Yeah, Dad just hates it when we're agitated in his study. Like, please stop climbing on things, LaBelle. LaBelle, no, the shelf is going to fall. I already goofed, I lost already. Oh, for crying out loud, my piano is not for being stepped on. Buzzkill. You set me up for failure. Gotta restart. Yeah, that video t set me up for failure. I feel like Lil Bell might be on the other people's team. Don't use ladders more than once. Oh, this one's gonna be hard. I want to see your videotape, so that's going to end up with the loss, but I want to read it. In our family, because everyone is expected to be a genius at something, kids are exposed and taught art very early on. They're homeschooled to fit everything in a tight schedule. It means that seeing other kids usually isn't planned for us. It didn't work out that well for Dad Glomerin, man, Glomerin who ended up somewhat antisocial. But you know, Dad Cicadus married into the family, so he didn't grow up with these those traditions. So he probably knew how bad that was to keep us isolated. I remember once he sneaked Mantis and I out before a sculpture class we hated. Don't worry, girls, he said. I'm the one who'll be in trouble. We raced to the park and he let us play with the kids there. Haha, <laughs> he was afraid of getting scalded so he kept delaying going home. We ended up going to the restaurant, the three of us. Of course, Dad Glumberman was worried sick and when we finally came back, he shielded us from the wrath of his own parents. I think that day our dad took the opportunity to break a little free from grandpa and grandma and to start breathing some of their own values into our education. And you know what? I think I took my first photos that day at the park. Yeah, she, like, going for her things or setting me up for failure. I think she's evil. I'm pretty sure she's evil. Don't air jump more than three times. Don't climb down ladders less than twice. Don't use any ladder. Lately, Dad has been changing. I think it was hard for him to see that it was taking you time to find your special trait. Grandma and Grandpa kept asking questions. I've heard him talk to himself in his study when he believes instruments cover up his voice. What happens to an unworthy child? And what happens to the outsider parent who birthed the child? The dummy Cicadus thinks he bears the world on his shoulders. I mean, I turned out pretty damn fine. Beautiful, charming, clever, relatable, and adored. I certainly didn't inherit that from Dad Glomerin. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, she's evil. As for Mantis, well, she's... Good at what she does. Sorry, sis, one of us gotta be the lesser twin. Heh. <laughs> yeah, she's evil, dog. I'm telling you. This is a really sick game, though. This is interesting. I like this a lot. There's no videotape in here. Don't use the ladder. Don't go left. Don't jump more than once. I think this is all just gonna be jumping, then. Oh, don't go left. God dang it, I was supposed to fall here. Huh. Try this one again. Huh, that's hard. Am I not su Let's just use the ladder then. Okay, you can't even air jump here. This one's hard. Wow. 
Air jump counts as more than once? That sucks. Okay. Don't use the ladder. How do you do this? Ah, okay, too easy. That was hurting my brain. I didn't know I could make that jump. Don't jump, don't climb up the ladders exactly twice. Don't climb up ladders an odd number of times. Wait, did I go down? Ah, wait, yeah. Got a little off track over there and ran out of tape. Anyhow, Cicadus has started to act aloof and acerbic. What does acerbic mean? He's been trying to distance himself from you, maybe to weaken the idea that he's somehow related to you. Well, guess what, Dad? While you were obsessed with Leopard, I decided what I wanted to do. Alright, Leopard, I'm almost there, and so are you. The next frame is where Dad spends most of his time. I'm gonna go there and announce my career change to him and see... We'll see how he reacts. Whew! Good luck to you, my cute bubble of a brother. Good luck to me, too. Hey. What's up, dog? Oh, what a horrendous melody. Everything just sounded so wrong, it made me sick to my bones. I'm feeling under the weather today. Is it even possible to compose a sonata for grasshoppers? Huh. Clap it! What ill wind carried you to me on such a disastrous times? Disastrous. As if my day wasn't already turning into a tragedy, I've not been able to write more than 12 pages of a score. The atmosphere is just not right for me to work. I can feel it. Wait, have you been making a mess around my music room? Heavens, no wonder I felt uneasy. It was obvious someone was playing around and broke a ton of laws. Huh. You know, nothing takes away days of my life more than the eyesore you are. Rude. Just like an out-of-tune instrument, a must of wonderful orchestra destined to cut the piece short. Huh. For the longest time, I believed that you were just a late bloomer. I gave you as much love as I gave my chairs glomer and... You are the score I failed, or maybe you failed all by yourself. What have we, a perfect, wonderful couple, done for the gods to te done to the gods for them to test us, not with one, but with two difficult children? Although at least you're still here. I miss Labelle so much. I digress. This is no time for awareness to raise awareness about what a scourge you are to the work and family. I'm giving you the opportunity to quietly skedaddle back to your room because you probably don't realize the harm you're doing. Now get out of my sight before I lose my temper. Ah, oh, screw you, bro. Which way am I supposed to be going? This way? Good lord, Leopard. What do you think you're doing? My heart. I'm feeling dizzy. You're wasting my time and my tempo. Oh, cross-language wordplay. Should take note of it to tell Matisse later. Okay. Oh, no. That's not the exit door. Which one is it? Oh, Muppet, why would you try to get inside a broom closet? I'll have to try another door. Oh, well, I can't jump, so... Well, actually, I can. Not again. Why, Leopard? Why? There's nothing for a weakling like you out of your room. Whatever you try, you will always fail. You know that. I worked tirelessly to have you reveal a gift to no avail. And now you dare wander around messing with me? You leave me no choice but to bar your way. Fight me, son.
How do I? Oh my god. I don't understand. You defied me without flinching. Where does your newly found confidence come from? I'm afraid for the both of us, Leopard. When I joined Glomeron's family, it became my duty to raise children with him that strive for greatness. Such is the way of the family. Sculpting, knitting, cooking, tailoring, you name it. Everyone here reveals a keen aptitude for a particular field at an unusually young age. I didn't grow up here, but my, the family judged my composing to their standards and I was allowed to marry my sweet Glomeron. I worked so hard to be up to par, to blend in and live a love-filled life. To have the privilege of making my music all day long and fall asleep near my husband. That privilege came with a heavy toll, the duty to raise our children so that they may one day demonstrate their own talents. Mantis did excellent. She's my pride and joy. Every moment I spend with her makes my life worthwhile. LaBelle, well, she was talented. Those are sharp eyes she had. Her photos, they touched my soul. Everyone's souls. She had everything, but decided to give it all up rather than... But, rather be doing what she wanted instead of benefiting from an already secure future. She hurt me a lot when she set flight. To this day, I wait for her to come back and make amends, to be living and thriving life with our family. As much as I'd love to say her loss, I must admit she wounded me. And then, there's you, talentless you, who'd rather spend his day, day time daydreaming and bathing in mediocrity. I did everything I could, and now I'm scared. Scared that the family will see you as my failure. You're a dick. What if I am held accountable for your incompetence? Will they separate me from Mantis and Glomeran? I have to go. I have to see him and talk to him. Do it your way. It can't get any worse this way. I feel like a harp with broken strings. You. Just get out of my sight. You ruin everything. Stupid leopard. What a jerk, bro. Toxic. That's toxic. So I guess that dude somehow had a kid. I don't know. Don't jump. Don't ground jump. But I want to get that videotape. I'm going to get the videotape. Alright, so I, I just spoke with the cicadas. It was harder than I expected. I told him that I was getting out of here. He was dumbfounded. He didn't understand. He got so mad in his own way. Tearful mad. Like he'd learned I just died, you know? He tried to stop me, and for a moment I thought I'd let him convince me. But then I remembered that he'd rather preserve his idea of a perfect family rather than my happiness. You know, I'd like to think that in another life we could have gotten along so well. In a life where he didn't feel pressured to meet the family standards or have his kids meet them. Be right back. I think I should post it about this while the wound is still fresh. She's something's wrong with her. Just putting that out there. Something's wrong with that chick. Final boss. Don't climb a ladder. Don't air jump. Don't let any switch be turned off. Okay, here I am. And what is here, you wonder? Well, I'm going to answer you even though you literally live here and already know that layout. This is Manti Slabs. Welcome, or maybe not, in a realm of flavors and sensations. A place where she elaborates made-up drinks like this dizzy ballerina, or the white-hot badass shot, or something like that. I don't actually know if she ever named them that. But it sounds equally dumb. Building a community isn't worth their admiration, but... Getting people drunk is? Give me a break. Okay. Where's the ladder at? I don't even see a ladder here. Alright. Alright. That was easy. We're doing it. Wow, so you're still watching my tapes? They're starting to add up, right? 
Yeah, I really brought an unreasonable number of them with me. Better start using them. Oh, thanks. There we go. <laughs> I can't wait for the hill turn of LaBelle. I can see it coming. Don't jump. Don't flip less than two switches. Don't let any. Well, oh, crap. Hey everyone, welcome to my podcast. A video podcast. So, just a regular program, I guess. Today, let's talk about the alphabet. Yeah, it's some kind of symbols compendium. It may or not may not be useful depending on what you you're trying to achieve. Yeah, so thanks for watching and see you next tape. You're losing her damn mind. What the hell? Don't climb a ladder. Don't flip a switch less than twice. Oh, I can't even get over there, dude. Oh, crap. I guess I gotta keep... Did I do that wrong? Oh, it's in the middle. My bad. It's like, what the heck? i never seen one be in the middle, but I guess it can be. I just gotta flip that one more time and we're good to go. I do dig the concept, though. I really like the concept of the game and how, like... <laughs> it's pretty dark, actually, for our homie down here. Don't let even number switches. Don't flip a switch exactly once. I said, hey everyone, I actually just met you, Leopard. Because you have been between your hands the only copy of my podcast, so. Do you even keep these tapes on? Or do you put them back where you found them? Whichever way is fine. They're not my best piece of work and are generally outdated the moment you watch the following tape. Oh, wait, just give me a minute here. Crap, I think I just broke a law there. Although I'm not sure, sometimes Mantis's laws are so scripted, it's annoying. We did it! Hooray! No wait, we didn't do it. Oh wait. Now we did it! Hooray! Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. This game is sick, though. I was really like, oh, hell. Haha! -ha. <laughs> I was like, dang, I broke it. This is, like, not hard enough that I can do this while I'm drunk. And... It's not so easy that it's not interesting. Okay, fixed it. While well, you need to break laws here and there to be confident enough to get out, I don't specifically need it, and I'd rather not give them any grounds to be mad at me. If I'm the perfect hero, they won't be- they won't have anything to use against me. And I'm the winner all the way! And I could rub that in Mantisa's face. You know, it's not that I hate our sister, but sometimes she really plays it solo. Always on her own, brewing her own cocktails instead of spending time with me. Concentrating on developing her talent and not her relations. Doesn't it bother her to be this family's perfect student, obeying their every whim? In a way, she's so much like Dad Gomer, and it's so annoying. We could have worked together and be close, but no! The Queen is just happy the way things are. 
She's never going to talk about feelings or expressing clearly her desires. Does she even have some? God, I would have turned mad without you, Lepid. You're my real twin sister. Am I a sister? Okay, cool. Interesting. Ah, oh, hell, how do I... That's gonna be a heck of a jump. Oh, I can't even jump this. Dyke? Oh, I messed up already. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm the best. Alright. This is like the same exact room. Oh, hell. Huh. How do I do that? That was weird. Let's try that one more time. Ah, damn, I didn't make the jump. Oh, I could've, I'm an idiot. Ah, we got this. We got this. This is a cool game though. I really love the artwork and the, like, story's pretty good. Interesting. Don't let any switch be activated. Don't climb down any ladder. Don't jump more than once. Interesting. Wait a second. This was hard, actually. Let me think. We're gonna have to activate a switch. That's just... Huh. Hmm. Oh, that's a weird one. Don't climb down any ladder. What in the world? I got this. I got this. I got this. Watch this. It's gonna be crazy. Or it's just not gonna work. One of the two. Oh, I got this. Boom, baby. Yeah, know what I mean? Didn't think I'd be that nervous to confront Matisse. You know, she she never directly put pressure on me to keep doing photography, but by abiding the, this household rule, she enforced them. She obeyed without questioning. She didn't pay any attention to me or ask me why I felt so depressed, or at least she ignored it. I mean, that's one time I wore silver earrings and sat near a golden necklace, and di that didn't make her react. Like, girl, that didn't look like a desperate cry for help to you? Okay. I asked her about how I looked and she said, and I'm not kidding. As long as you feel good in your clothes and body, what I don't think doesn't matter. Right, that's a pathetic excuse to tr justify that you can't think for yourself. Alright, the nervousness disappeared and I'm just worked up now. Thanks for the pep talk, Leopard. I'm going in, and I won't pull any punches. She's a nut. She is a nut. Well, look who came to bother me. Lepid, it's been a while. How have you been? I'm fine. Doubt that. I received a text from Dad Cicadas a few minutes ago. Huh. Duh, you thought we'd let you destroy us individually without warning each other? Been expecting you and prepared a cocktail for you. Ah. Huh. Duck all free. I'm not thirsty. Dude, you literally jumped all over the house for hours. You could have invented a better lie. 
Fine, I'll just throw it away. It's not like I made the quiet butterfly for anyone else. I get it. The only way for to have your love is to buy it with doe eyes and cameras. Damn you, LaBelle. You and your mermaid song. Oh, mermaid song. That'll be the name of the drink I've been making. Mainly sweet on the surface with some spices on the trim of the glass. But as you drink closer and closer to the bottom of the glass, the savors turn sour and aggressive. Yet you can, this is my type of gal. I like this. Yet you keep drinking, hoping the final layer of syrup might soften your taste buds. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. It tastes painful like betrayal. Oh, I like this. Okay. That description might not be the best choice, marketing-wise. We'll need to rework that. Huh. Anyway, you decided to get out. Maybe that's the best for everyone. Although, I wonder. Couldn't you have stayed happy here, pretending to ha be good at something? I mean, I started with chemistry, then gastronomy, and only branched out to mixology later. Dads were wrong to give up on your training. I get that becoming an influencer might have been a little too far off the family's editorial policy, but maybe they could have expanded a little on the perimeter. In any case, even if you get out now, what? You can't do anything on your own. Life isn't magically going to get better outside. The bell and you think that you'll get what you want without working? Huh. Give me a break. Look, I'll talk with Dad and Dad to have new classes given to you. There's gotta be something, right? So just go back to your room and be patient. Not too late. Sorry, fam. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't do that. I mean, I never explicitly told you so, but that's just common sense, right? I'm sorry, girl. So I gotta figure out her rooms rules without doing them. Huh, that's crazy. Stop it, you can't do that either. Obviously you're doing this on purpose. Gosh, just wanted to help. Why are you acting like such a spoiled brat? Alright, here. The door is locked. No getting out now. I'm just not letting you through unless you sh start showing some kindness. <laughs> I like it. It's gonna be don't climb an odd number of ladders or something. Ah, I got this. I got this. I wonder what the third roll is, though. I'll probably have to restart once I figure it out. It'll probably be something to deal with climbing ladders. Hmm. Alright. So it's gotta be this one over here, right? Yeah. Wait, what did we just do? Okay, yeah. Got you. We got this. We got this. We know all the rules now, at least. Huh. This is the game is amazing. I'm enjoying this. I, I will say it can't be too hard if I'm doing this while I'm drunk. But it's, it's fun. I like it. I can dig it. I'll hail. Yeah, I did it. Okay, cool. I just can't climb any more ladders, pretty much. How do I get back across though? Oh. Do I go here and hit this one? Ah. Huzzah. I hope this. Hey, we did it. Great success. 
As long as I don't fall through or something. Great success! We did it! It only took two tries. Hey! Huh? Why did you break one law before reaching the door? I'm angry. You're angry? You? Is it his own anger or LaBelle's? Why don't- why didn't you break several? I... Hmm. Don't hate you. I don't hate you either. I like Mantise. Mantise is my girl. I like her better than LaBelle. Mantise is a sh was dope. Sometimes I remember your face when, as a toddler you barely ate anything. Barely able to speak, but just saying no and jerking your head around to avoid the spoonful. Such a stubborn little bean. Dad Glomeron was at a loss. There was just nothing to satis that satisfied you. He brought you to the doctors, changed foods, tried a thousand ruses, like doing blades and stuff. To no avail. I remember that Dad Cicadus was taking care of LaBelle and I at the moment, submitting our photos and experiments to contests. Dad Glummer barely told him anything about his difficulties about you. To not worry him. So he started staying up late to experiment with new healthy recipes that you'd like. But he was exhausted from his days taking care of you and working. He kept messing up. So one time I got back up and joined him. At first he refused but ended up yielding. For a whole week we spent countless hours in the night trying out different menus. Time would fly and I could make use of our, my chemistry skills. And by the end of the week not only did you start eating again. But I also found out that rather than doing pure chemistry. I wanted to apply it to gastronomy. Dad Glomerin was overjoyed, so were you, and so was I. To me, that moment is really how I used to feel about our family in a nutshell. Then, of course, you fell a little behind with the training, and little by little, our family began to shatter. You know, I, I really wish for you to be happy. But that would be so unfair to me. I've been, I've met the crushing expectations of the whole family. In family dinners, people often ask me to speak in the name of the three siblings. Because I'm responsible and the successful one. Because you two are not there. Lately, Grandpa and Grandma have been observing me as if I were also going to disappoint them. So I've had to perform as good as three persons to make up for you two. Conversely, I've barely spent time with dads since they've focused all their attention on you two. I do everything everyone asks, and now I'm taken for granted. I'm not praised anymore. Rationally, I know that's how it works. I know that I can fend for myself while they give more attention to your problems. Different kids, different needs, right? And I'm a grown adult. I just... I should just be more mature about it and suck it up. But screw that. I'm tired of being responsible and mature. Aw. Come with me. Nah, thanks for the offer, but I can't do that. I love dad and dad, and I love what I do. In my case, I'm completely adapted to how the family works. You're obviously not, so as much as I would have loved for us to be more solid, my home is here and yours isn't. So take flight, and keep being candid, Leopard. God, Mantis is best girl. God. I don't really care for the other crazy one. I like Mantis. Mantis is dope. Oh god. Glomerin. And then we gotta go against the videotape person. Huh. My encounter with Mantis was... Not what I expected. I told her everything I thought of her. She didn't burst out. She kept nodding. She looked relieved. She just said, Well, I'm not holding you back. You know your way out. It's not heartless. She cares. Like she wanted me to go all along. She didn't even seem envious. So you're just lashing out. You don't really want to be free. You just want to be the chosen one. I hope she chokes on a garbage punch or whatever. In any case, into Glomer's workshop we go. Yeah, she's so evil, bro. I guess I just knocked this over, right? There we go. Don't touch the ground. Don't go right. Don't break any pottery. Oh, that's too easy, fam. Too easy. Ah, oh, hell. Well, it looks like we're breaking you as well. <laughs> we did it. Oh, 
that's hard. Hey. Screw your battery glomerin. Don't simple jump. Don't break it. Oh, that's gonna be something. Ah, oh, hell. That do it? That's. Wait, redo. I've always had more trouble bonding with that glomerin than that cicadas. Every time I look at him, I almost see the strings attached to his limbs. I see shadows whispering to them. His heart is trapped behind silver bars. Every move he makes, he's being watched, being heir to the head of the family. He's lived under pressure for decades. No wonder he's built like that. He loves us, that's for sure, but he's maintaining the tight balance between his parents' satisfaction and his child's children's happiness. But the more it goes, the worse he's handling it. Hard getting out will either set him free or sign his sentence out of the family. Is he ready to toss the coin? Either way, we'll make him. Yeah, you're evil. You're so evil. <laughs> that was easier than I imagined. Oh, heck. Don't jump. Don't break any pottery. This is really hard. Well, I'm gonna go get the videotape and then we'll figure it out from there. You know, Leopard, I keep making these videos, but right now I don't know what you're... How, I don't know how you're actually doing. Are you okay after crossing Cicadas and Mantis' paths? Because I'm pretty sure they aren't. I mean, they're rather shaken that I'm getting out, and so... You're definitely going to make the fragile foundations crumble. They might not have shown it to you, but I'm sure that'll take a toll on their morale. What about yours? Are you still holding up? It's almost over, right? Okay. Almost there. I'm your key to getting out, though. Don't forget. Repeat after me. LaBelle is my way out. LaBelle is my way out. Aw, love it. I hear you properly. Come on, LaBelle is... Louder. Yeah, that's right. Nicely done. Jeez, something's wrong with her. Don't jump. How do I do this? We do. How do I do this without breaking pottery? Is it pot? Yeah, it is. Okay, I got you. I got you, fam. Just like this. Oh, she's so evil. Don't flip less than one switch. Don't jump. Don't break an odd number of potteries. <laughs> oh, I love this game, though. It's so sick. Oh, hell. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I saw the thing going. I was like, then we're screwed. <laughs> okay, Leopard, I think he's in the next frame. I'm going in there, telling him how weak he is, and how Grandpa and Grandma's pressure is no excuse for avoiding us, and then... LaBelle, sweetheart. What are you doing in my workshop at this hour? Holy freaking... Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Jesus, Dad, you scared the living daylights out of me. No, you scared me! Don't sneak up on me like that. Well, I heard a voice yelling about a way out just a moment ago, and ha <laughs> ha. The workshop can get pretty spooky at night, so I had to check out who was there. Just me strolling through. Ah. You've got your camera taking shots of the house. I'm filming for Leopard. Say hello, Dad. So you're not going to upload this for your community then? No, not that content. Although, there's a lot of useful material right here. Hmm. Why are you, huh? Showing Leopard. Why well, is he out of here? Oh. But he already knows his way around the house, so... I'm having trouble to see how that will interest him. Oh! Have you perchance set your sights on movie making? You know your great uncle used to. 
No, Dad, I don't care about movie making. That's not what I want to use my camera for, and you know it. Kind of popping off the music. And that's just as fine as a hobby, but you know how the family... Yeah, 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 cut it out. I get you don't... I'm actually just passing through to say sayonara. Huh. Oh, uh, okay. Well, just send a text every time you move someplace so that we know where you are just in case and enjoy your night out. Yeah, I'll enjoy my night out and the next one and all the following nights in the foreseeable future. You've got a busy schedule. <laughs> no, Dad. God, you're so dense. Left it, I'll be back. This is gonna be ugly. See, she's just like wanting to be rebellious and stuff. I like the glamouring guy is amazing. He seems like a really good person. I don't know what. Ah oh, hell, sorry. Whoopsie. You can't make him go right though. Okay, I gotta go fast. What? What? Why? Why didn't the door open? The door should open there, right? Oh, I got don't break less than 20 pots. I was reading that so long. I gotta break all the pots. I got you. I got you. How many pots are all these? Do I have to break the- I, I can't break the one on the left. Oh, wow. I got to, though. Okay. I got this. Maybe. Yeah, LaBelle's actually the evil one here, I think. LaBelle and the dad that's not glamouring, the other glad cicadas. He's kind of a dick too, but... Alright, we got this. Easy. Huh. Yeah, this game's like super well made. Oh. Oh. Daddy? Hmm? Oh, it's you, Leopard. Your father and sister told me you'd probably stop by. I was expecting you to turn around, but now that you're here, it warms my heart just a bit. I've been working for a while on modeling a tea set. Look, a big teapot with the elegant sugar bowl. Aren't they perfectly assorted? They intended to make three cups in their cute respective plates. But one cup recently smashed itself, and for that other cup, I can't manage to make the right plate. Does that even exist? If only things were as easy as it were for the first cup. I don't like tea anyway. So you speak now. I too was growing tired of monologues. And I guess you came with something to say, right? Like your sister. Or maybe not. <laughs> I kind of hope chatting with you would help your artistic your artistic orientation. We can't figure that out soon. Mother and father will shut out you away for good. As long as they don't see you progress or lack thereof, nothing can hurt you, right? So please, go back to your safe place. Go back to your bedroom and stay there for as long as I can stall. No. I mean, at the end of the day, he still wants the best for me. Don't break any pottery. Don't touch any pottery. Don't jump more than twice. So I gotta break the jumping rule, pretty much. Oh. Fudge. Oh! Oh, did you do that on purpose? That was unexpected. It was good to see you have some will inside you. I'm not mad, that's okay. We all have our tantrums, right? Can I leave here now? Oh, I can't. Unfortunate. How do I... What the hell? How do you do this? Huh. Oh my, that's harsh. You already made your point. I first saw energy in you and admired that, but seeing that free hate. Sorry, but I can't let you roam around in that state of mind. You might harm yourself. Go back to your room. The way is now closed. I'm just checking something. Okay, I got you. I know how to do this. I gotta let the ball roll the whole length. Oh, 
Oh, I can't undo any of my things. God dang it, wait a second. I gotta find the right buttons to press. Huh. Well, that ain't it. These won't go back after you flip certain switches, it seems like. There we go. I need that one. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, darn it. That's not it. I think I can make it from there, actually. You walk to the door, so you really are determined to leave the house. Maybe once you do, they'll stop breaking me. But my son. <laughs> my daughter. Stop it, stop it right here. Bad. Cicadus, what are- Weren't you resting? All that stress can't be good for you. Or you. Or me. If Lubbock gets out of here, Scorpio and Arachne will definitely make you pay for everything. Your branch of the family will collapse and the branches will turn their back on you. Your parents will mentally break you. You worked hard to inherit their legacy and be up to their standards. Let Leopard go and you doom the three of us that remain. Also, letting a kid on the streets is just ludicrous. And so is never seeing our son again. Aw, oh, they care. God, when did my priorities get so mixed up? Thanks, crazy family. Maybe he should get out before he turns as insane as we are. But I'm not with you here. I'm alone. The bell is gone. Oh, the bell. Please, Leopard, your sister caused me so much grief. You're right, Cicadas. I can't let Leopard go. I don't think you and I would ever recover from it. But he's right. We're here with him, but we can't be there here for him. I know better than anyone what it feels to constantly maintain your, hi your ratings high enough for the family to keep accepting us. At least outside he'd be free to be mediocre. You know I've been trying so hard to maintain a balance, to have my parents satisfied, to have mentees, you and I, practicing our artists however we see fit, saw fit, and to allow Leopard and LaBelle to remain among us. How was that all not enough? Honey, I don't think there's ever an enough to unreasonable expectations. For months, now you've made sure Leopard stays out of their sight and bore their incessant lines of questioning. You broke and I patched you up. How many times now? But I'm tired of being in my room. But as long as you were in that room, you could be the kid you wanted. Instead of the child Grandpa and Grandma wanted. No, as long as I stayed. You didn't have to see the kid you feared I was. That's nonsense. Every day you spent in that room tore a little part of my heart. Was it the right choice, or rather, the lesser evil? Hiding him, letting him, the distance separate us. Things would have been easier if he'd had a talent. Things would have been easier without mother and father. Things would have been easier if you just loved me for what I was. Ah, oh, if things could get as easy as we love you. We just do nothing all day. Ah, Glomer, and you make my heart waltz when you speak of love this way. Stop ignoring me. We're not. We see you now. When you were in my study earlier, you were a tiny caterpillar, a grub not worthy of my time. However, after your expedition in the house, I see you're piercing out of your cocoon. Get out of the house. Get out of your silk prison. 
You're not stopping me anymore? What about Grandpa and Grandma? What about honor and tradition? I will handle it. I will handle tradition. Mantis and I are pretty awesome. We'll handle honor. We'll just smash their standards. Make them sh the shame of the family. I'll make it sound easier than it really is. He doesn't have to know that. Let's not shatter his newly found will. Well, go on then. Lord, he's hesitating now. Ahem, Lepid, you are, uh, a dimwit. You serve no purpose here. You're just useless. Yeah, uh, I can't stand your cute face anymore. Not after the harm you've done. That's so mean. Right you are. We're just the worst. And you know what? I'm feeling really kissing now. Disgusting kiss coming towards my glittery glomerin. You certainly do not want to see that and should get out right now. Yuck, this is going to be so gross. No one should have to suffer such a sight. Ouch, gross. I have feelings. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fine, Lil Bell was right all wrong. I can't wait to get outside and never see you again. Ha, huh. do you think you're confident enough to pass the front door? Of course. Well, we'd love to see you try. Absolutely, I'm willing to bet against it. I'll show you, I'm out. Victory. Finally. Alrighty then, show us what, if you're really that solid, Leopard. Oh, I love this game. This is amazing. But now we gotta fight LaBelle. I'm sure of it. She's the last missing evil piece. The veranda. Oh, it's the freaking best girl, Mantise. Wow, that was cheesy. Mantise! Don't get your hopes up. I'm not here for tearful goodbyes. I was kind of curious about LaBelle's channel. Don't drag on fly. About empowerment and affirming one's lifestyle, if I understand correctly. He's got a bunch of subscribers and has already been featured in various influencers' content. So she's good? Looks like it. I... That's <laughs> so cute. I'm curious about the content she's streaming right now, though. Right now? Yeah, I can't access it. Apparently, you gotta have a special invite or whatever. Something about paying to watch. So anyway, I can only see the title. Family Feud, Decisive Clash with My Former Family. And also the description. It reads, After all these weeks, talking about my crazy relatives, I'll now show you what insanity looks like. Let's see how they, a child molded by scorn and pressure gets back at life. What does it mean? Well, I don't want to make a baseless assumptions, but I'm thinking she'll be streaming your exit. Uh, I guess, even though she helped you from the bottom of her heart, no life event is wor unworthy of being shown to the world. So, is she proud of me? She just might be, but, um, that's just my theory. It's fine. I'll do whatever I can to do to help LaBelle. Oh, this is tr tragic. If that's fine by you, then I've got nothing more to add. I will probably not see you. Yes, see you not. That's tragic. This is tragic. I want to go the other way. I'm good. Ah. Oh, I'm lost. Oh, did I break the game? Oh, oh, oh. Bro. Okay, progression is saved automatically. You can't go to the left. Don't go to the left, boys. Oh my god. Please. Alright. Oh, boy. That about gave me a heart attack. If I had to start... I wouldn't mind, actually. I really like this game. Even though I'm drunk and it was a struggle to get through it. I thought it was a ton of fun. This game is really well made. I love the concept. Wait, Leopard, wait. Yes? Whatever happens, remember how you were a while ago. Alone, playing in your room. Powerless, shy, isolated. Can you feel now your confidence? Can you feel your inside growth? Definitely! Hold on to that. You earned it on your own. 
not the family's strength. It's not LaBelle's. It's yours. Okay. Thanks, Mantis. Bye. Mantis is best girl, by far. My god. Oh, here we go. The exit, I made it. Lapid, you took your sweet time. LaBelle! LaBelle, it's me! <laughs> I can see that, dummy. Oh my god, Lepid, you did it. I did it. Oh. But it was all thanks to your tapes. Of course it was. I didn't plan things randomly. I'm exhausted from jumping and all, and I almost cried every time. Yeah, 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 right. Whatever. So, I've been waiting outside since the moment I tossed you the tape through the window. Actually, I haven't been waiting alone. Say hi to my audience. Uh, hi? I'm streaming from my phone right now. Don't mind them, Leopard. How did everything go? How are Dad and Dads and Matisse? I'm not sure what's going to happen to them. Well, the future is going to be bright. Dad Glomerin and Dad Cicadus will self-destruct against Scorpio and Arachne. And Matisse will be caught in the crossfire. Well, I don't want that. What? Yeah, so it's an all-around success. But I didn't want to hurt them. I just wanted to get confident enough to get out. That's what you said. The point was to teach them a lesson. That's the promise I made all of you guys watching us in Don't Drag On Fly. And you, Lepid, did exactly what you were meant to. You started a fire from the inside that will never they will never be able to put out until it burns them all to the ground. Oh, that's what you meant when you said I was under pressure and getting back at life. What? Matisse told me about your stream, that it was about me and getting even with them. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay, yeah. I understand the confusion. The show isn't about you, it's about me getting revenge. Narcissist. You played an important part in it, and you were my key tool. But in the end, you're just gonna fall. There is no revenge for you, silly. But... I'm the child who suffered with insane relatives. It was written. Obviously not. I'm the child who suffered. You've had your share of hardship, sure. You had it pretty easy, chilling in your room, and I was holding your hand all throughout your journey out. Whereas I had to play pretend and repress my dreams. Oh, okay. But now I'm free. I didn't fall. Yet. But honestly, this will be just be a piece of cake. After all, you're the weakest of my awful relatives, and the only one left. Well, Belle, you're scaring me. Yeah, well, I'm tired of you. Honestly, I spent countless hours with you playing, sharing, trying to find your talent with you. I thought that if we found your talent, it would either be something conventional they expect, in which case they would be less pressured to have me be conventional, since, I'm, since the rest of the kids are up to par. Or it would be something unconventional, like me, meaning that it would have been easier to have them accept the unavoidable change. But you failed me. You can develop a gift even for your own loving sister who wasted so much of her time on you instead of focusing on her success. She who chases two rabbits catches none, right? Shouldn't have aimed for both of our careers. But anyway, you're just as much responsible for my suffering as they were. Sure, you made amends, so just a bit by taking them down for me, but I'm not certain the lesson was learned. I didn't know all that. It wasn't on purpose. It makes it all the worse. You lived in blissful ignorance. I resent you being the useless insect that you are, and even more for never being good enough for my success. What are you going to do to me? I'll shatter your fragile confidence and sentence you to never step a foot outside. I now decide the loss of the brand that you deadbeat. Stop it. I'm sorry. Oh, this is tragic, bro. No, you're not, but I'll make you. How about you guys in the chat make me suggestions about the new laws around here? Anything goes. Stay tuned on Don't Drag On Fly as I teach my egocentric brother where he belongs. You're the egocentric one. Don't go right. It'll change, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, I was sure you'd try that. After all, that's what you've been doing all along, right? Breaking the rules? Well, I'm immune to your fake confidence, and breaking the law won't make me budge from here. I'll keep them coming until you break, you underdeveloped numbskull. It's always changing. I don't have to worry about it, ding-dong. <laughs> I just have to go. 
This is too easy. Oh no, I'm such a victim. I can't cope with the fact that you're breaking several laws. Boo hoo, please return to your room with the. While well, I brew dramatically. Yeah, right. Puppet, you're just ridiculous and vain. I'm gonna break all the laws. I'll show you. These laws don't mean nothing to me, dog. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> this is easy. Is this turning into a contest? Can you break laws faster than I can addict them? I'm doing this for your own good. Nah, joking. I'm really just doing it for me. I deserve better. So I just gotta break the laws? Easy. I am so good at breaking the laws. Boy, this is my talent. Wow, you guys. There's way more laws than I can enforce. Thank you all so much for contributing. Is it... It's hilarious how he runs around. I have to admit, he is my cute little brother. Gosh, what a waste. <laughs> You're screwed. Oh, that's becoming a bit tiresome. Leopard, look, this is getting nowhere. Guys, what should I do with him? What? You must be joking. You're running out of laws. You're gonna lose. Don't win this fight. We're winning. We're doing it. <laughs> Get out of my way. Stop, stop, stop. That's enough. Dear Lord, no matter how many laws I throw at you, you just keep going. They really don't mean anything to you anymore, do they? Of course they do. They're obstacles I have to take down. I trained you too well. Thing is, you only have your confidence and I can't seem to break it no matter how much I belittle you. You literally have nothing else I could take from you to teach you a lesson. It's okay. You already taught me several. That doesn't cut it. Nothing will, little bell. Not in here anyway. What? You got out for a reason, and that was a mistake to come back. There is nothing left for you here. Oh, please, don't talk to me in a classic vengeance won't bring you satisfaction. You really became a cocky little nightmare, didn't you? I... I learned from the worst. Ha, huh, touche. Are your fans having fun? Less so now. They're asking me to open your way. They find you touching and wholesome. What the heck? Will you? I guess that's my job now. LaBelle? What now? If you hadn't shown up at the front door, I'm not sure I would have gotten out. You could have led me through the house and then abandoned me right here. I... I think I would have turned around knowing you weren't actually waiting for me. Instead, you came back. You tested me and I realized that I could do this on my own. Why did you come anyway? I... don't know. Was it for your fans? Partly, I guess. But I think... You know, getting out of here is not easy. I'm not talking about physically getting out. I mean, not letting a... Not leaving a part of you here. Not hoping that if you come back, people will have changed for the better because of what you did. I don't understand. I miss this place sometimes, even though it kind of held me hostage. And when I ran away, my bond to this family was cut short and clean. It's kind of messy. You, Leopard, are part of the mess, and the mess is meant to be cleaned up. I don't think you're wrong. About what? Your departure made them a bit worse. But when you add mine, maybe it opened their eyes just a little bit. And that couldn't have done it, been done with just you or just me leaving. In the end, that was your plan, by having two of us leave. You set things in motion around here. But I disagree with the self-destruction part. I hope they just get better. Who are you? I don't know yet. I'll just find out behind the gate. Maybe you will. What are you going to do? 
I'll just sit in the veranda for a moment. I need to think. I'll leave the door open then. Thanks for playing with me when I was alone in my room. Thanks for getting me out. Bye. Don't drag on, fly. Farewell, LaBelle. This game is so freaking wholesome and it has a really great story to it. This was an amazing game. Wow. Huh. This is like a student-made game too, I think. Intrepid Leopard, a game by Charlene F I don't know how to pronounce names. Artist, Simon Gigant, programmer, music composer, Thomas M. Burt, sound designer, Jar Rosamarino, game designer, level designer, narrative designer. And let me see, I thought this was a student made game. Project by four Injamin students. E N J M I N students. But yeah, this game was freaking amazing, boy. Oh my god. The design was dope. This is real, like, this is, a, like, innovative. Different. Definitely recommend playing through it. Um, as always, like I said, I'll leave a, a link to the game in the description. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!